wish that for only one day Dad couldn't tell a lie. And uh, I'd go to 8 o'clock Mass, then I'd go to Reverend Herring's church where we'd meet in order to organize and figure where we were going to go, whether we we're going to desegregate the Rialto movie theater or what we were going to do. Turns out that's complete and total bullshit. It's a lie. I got my education for real in the black church. And that's not hyperbole, it's a fact. That's complete and total bullshit. It's a lie. But I got my education, Reverend Doc, in the black church. Not a joke. Because when we used to get organized on Sundays to go out and desegregate movie theaters and things like that, we'd do it through the black church. That's complete and total bullshit. It's a lie. We got involved in desegregated movie theaters and helping, you may remember, Reverend Moyer in Delaware and Herman Holloway organize voter registration drives. That's complete and total bullshit. It's a lie. In October, uh, I was invited to uh, the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis to receive the Freedom Award. A thing when I sat in black churches on the east side of Wilmington getting ready to, and by the way, next to Jewish, two Jewish rabbis. That's complete and total bullshit. It's a lie. Uh, getting ready to go out and desegregate movie theaters in Delaware. Um, I never, ever thought in my life I would be worthy of, and I'm still not sure I'm worthy of it. I was not an activist. I worked at an all-black swimming pool in the east side of Wilmington, Delaware. I was involved. I was involved in what, what they were thinking, what they were feeling. Well, I'm not sure you should assume I'm not corrupt, but I'm thank you for that.